Five Dollar Dinners and the Dinner Made Easy Show here on our Facebook page. We go live every Wednesday with the cooking demo, usually in the afternoon. But today I am here in the morning because I'm making a slow cooker meal today. We have had a very slow morning this morning. My youngest and I traveled home late last night from a visit with family in Pennsylvania. And so we are here today. So we are making a slow cooker pineapple chicken today. My boys are all home today. If you look right there over my shoulder you will see school projects. It's school project week here, and so they're home working on school projects, and we're gonna be practicing speeches later today. So anywho, I am going to flip the camera around, and I have everything set up right here. We're gonna get started with this super de duper super de duper easy and delicious recipe. I have already cut up the chicken breasts and put them into the slow cooker for the sake of time. I did that just a minute ago. So that is four small chicken breasts cut up. I do have the recipe. I will share it when the video is finished. But this is what we have got. This is four small chicken breasts. I have cut them up. You don't need to spray the insert because we're gonna add a bunch of liquid to it here in a second. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix all of this here in my, my giant uh, liquid measuring cup here. I like to do this, kind of use it as a bowl when we don't have too much to do. So we're starting with, this is what we're going to mix in, a cup of stock, about a third, half a cup of pineapple juice. We'll see how much we get out of this can. We're going to use the juice from the can. A third cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of uh, soy sauce. This is my third measuring cup, so don't be confused by that. It's really a quarter cup. It's not all the way full. Um, and then I have over here, just for show, I'm going to cook brown rice later, probably in the Instant Pot. And then these are my garnishes, uh, green onions and sesame seeds. And then hiding in the corner over here is cornstarch. I'll tell you what we're going to do with that in a minute. All right, a cup of chicken stock. I'm just going to drain the pineapple right in. I'm not going to do vinegar, but you absolutely could. I think a rice wine, rice wine vinegar would be good <coughs> with this one. Excuse me. I think a splash of sesame oil might be good as well if you have that in your pantry. I don't know that I would buy it just for this recipe, but I think that would be really good. So this is, I gotta finish draining this. There's a little liquid left in the bottom of the can. Hang on. Okay, this is, the chunks are gonna go in with the chicken. So I, I put the juice in uh, with the chicken stock. The chunks are going in with the chicken. Oh, and I had something hiding over here, the garlic. Let me move that so you can see it better. Can you guys see that okay? Okay, I'm just gonna mix all this in here because that's how I'm rolling today. Uh-oh. Okay. Carefully, without knocking my camera off its tripod. I've done that before too. You never know what's gonna happen here on live video. You never know. There's, there's a reason a lot of video uh, that you see everything, most of what you see on television is edited. All right, that was two teaspoons of minced garlic. You could do like minced onion in here I think would be really good, just like a tablespoon of dried minced onion. In fact, I'm going to just do that. I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to be crazy. This is not in the plan, but I think if you want, you know, this is what I like about these kinds of recipes. They're pretty adaptable. So that's a tablespoon of minced dried onion. So I'm just going to whisk this all in here like this and then pour it right in. How easy is that? Okay. This is just gonna go right in. And then I'm gonna cook this on low for eight hours. Let me get that, I gotta scrape that out of here. We have a few stray garlics and, and onions in here. So we're just gonna kinda toss this around. It doesn't need to be covered. The pineapple will, will release uh, liquid. The chicken will release liquid as it slow cooks the day away. So it doesn't all need to be like totally covered in liquid, but we're going to nestle it all in there. Now, after you slow cook this, it's going to be very, 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 very juicy. Okay. Here are our, our other things that we're going to serve. We talked about that. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. When this is finished cooking, here's what I need you to do. I need you to take two, take one or two. It depends on, okay, here's, here's a quick important notice. With the cornstarch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna thicken the sauce when it's finished cooking. We are not thickening the sauce now, okay? We're gonna thicken it at the end, maybe like um, 20, 30 minutes before the cooking cycle is finished, or you could do it on the warm setting as well. Once, if you have a, if you have a, a slow cooker that switches to warm, you could do it once it's on the warm setting as well. So what we're gonna do, this is two tablespoons. If you have a slow cooker that runs hot, 
And what that means is it cooks hotter than maybe another slow cooker and you don't have quite as much liquid in here. You might need a little less cornstarch, but if it's really liquidy, you'll need more cornstarch. So I'm anywhere between one and two tablespoons you're going to want to use here. So what we're going to do is, I'll show you. I'm not going to do it now, but I'll show you. All you do, you don't want to add um, this cornstarch in here straight away like this because it will clump and then it won't thicken the sauce nicely. So what you want to do, this is two tablespoons. You could do about two or three tablespoons of water. I usually do one to one. Um, the water will incorporate into the sauce and maybe even burn off depending on how you're leaving it there. But you're going to mix this together into just a really thin, it's not even a paste. It's just a thin white sauce. Cornstarch sauce is not the right word, but this is what you're going to swirl in. When you mix it like this with water, there's a little clump down there, hang on. When you mix it like this with water and then swirl it into the sauce, you won't get any clumps in your sauce uh, that kind of get, and then you like take a bite of one, it's just nasty. So you want to, when this is finished cooking, we are not adding this now, super important. When this is finished cooking about slurry, thank you, that's perfect, yes, ooh, I love it. Um, I totally, I need more coffee. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm not quite awake all the way this morning from traveling late last night, thank you guys. So, <laughs> So when this is finished cooking, it'll be, it'll be juicy, kind of like it is now, maybe even more so. You'll swirl this in, so I just kind of swirl it in like this, and then take a spoon and give it a swirl, and then let it finish, let, let the slow cooking cycle finish. So whether it's 20, 30 minutes, it'll finish cooking, or if it switches to the warm setting, you can just leave it on the warm setting another 20, 30 minutes, and the cornstarch will thicken all of the sauce that's in here so that you end up with sort of that like deliciously perfectly saucy like fake out takeout kind of sauce that you would get with like you know sweet and sour chicken or something like that so let me do a quick recap this is slow cooker pineapple chicken we have four chicken breasts that we cut up into bite-sized pieces put into the slow cooker we I had this my uh, my my measuring cup my big measuring cup I use but you could just use a bowl we did a cup of chicken stock, about two-thirds of a cup of the juice from the pineapple can, a third a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of garlic, or two teaspoons of garlic, excuse me, minced garlic, and for fun I threw in a tablespoon of minced dried onion. We mixed all of that together, poured it right over the top of this. This is going to cook on low for eight hours. You could do high for four or six hours as well if you were running short on time but I prefer the low on eight hours. When it's finished cooking, you make a slurry. Thank you, Kim. And I think that was Tracy or Carmel. Um, we make a, a, a cornstarch and water slurry. And this is to keep, we, I like to add the water to keep the cornstarch from clumping. Um, if you just sprinkle cornstarch in here and stir it up, you'll get little clumps. So make this with water and cornstarch and then swirl it in, let it finish cooking 20, 30 minutes, or let, it, uh, let the cornstarch thicken the sauce on the warm setting. And that is what you are having for dinner. What I like to do with this one is serve it with brown rice. I'll probably make this in the Instant Pot later, right before dinner. Um, so brown rice, slice up some of these babies right here, green onions, sesame seed. You could do it like this. This is typically how I do it because I'm lazy and um, yeah, but I would recommend toasting these. Just heat up a skillet, a small little skillet, toss these in and just give the skillet a couple shakes and let these guys toast over medium high heat and they'll brown up a little bit. That is the toasted sesame seeds. If you wanna go kind of the extra mile, that's a great way you can toast those sesame seeds and have them as a little garnish, sprinkle garnish right on top. So that is what we're having for dinner tonight slow cooker pineapple chicken all right that's what i know that is this uh the dinner made easy show for today slow cooker pineapple chicken because it's so close to noon central time i'm not going to do my daily dish show today and usually do it noon i'll pick that back up tomorrow and i'll be back next week of course with another fantastic recipe kim come on over girl you got it we'll put we'll set some extra uh, places for you laura this recipe is not posted on the website i will add it here 
directly onto this video post shortly. You guys, please share this. This is such a fantastic and easy recipe. Again, the Dinner Made Easy Show. I'm here every Wednesday. I would love if you would share this uh, with your friends. And let me know when you make this. I want to hear how you enjoy it. And I will see you um, tomorrow on The Daily Dish Show and next week with another episode of our Dinner Made Easy Show. Music